Hi, this is Jonah with Sweet Honey Code, and today we're going to take a look at the Shopify app and how to add products on iOS. So let's get started. So first, we're going to click on the Shopify app. Please note that if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log into your store first. Once you do, you're going to see the Shopify dashboard, just like this on your app. So we're going to click on products to add a product. Next, we're going to click the plus up here to see your options. In this example, I'm going to tap Add Product. Great. So I need to name my product. So for this example, I'm going to add an infinity scarf to my Shopify store. All right. Now I can go further and let's add a description and use the iPad keyboard app, either the built in one or an external one. There we go. Click Done. Next, I'm going to add a price and use the camera to take a photo. So as you can see, everything I'm doing is straight from the iPad. That photo looks good. So I'm going to tap on it and click Done. Next, I can scroll on down and see what other options there are. For example, if I'm going to have different variations for this product, I will definitely go through that process, as well as add details for shipping. If it's in a special category or collection as well. This is looking good, so I'm going to click Save. Now, since it's draft, it means I can come back to this scarf and edit it further. Once I'm happy with this product, I can tap on the draft name up above and choose Active. And I can also deselect any sales channels I may not want this product available. Of course, for your own store, you're going to see different options here. But if I was going to publish this, I will click Done and then Save. And within a few moments, this product will be available on my Shopify store for purchases. All right, well, this concludes this brief tutorial on how to add products to your Shopify app on iOS. I hope you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.